Okay, I will uh, call into order or open up the 72nd meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Uh, welcome everybody, good to see all of you. And with that, I'll turn this over to Rudy. Okay, so um, September council meetings are when we say goodbye to departing members. And uh, we have three who have completed their uh, four years of service to NHGRI and have earned their parole um, back into the, the real, real world. Uh, the lost opportunity to build more frequent flyer miles coming to Washington, D.C. Uh, but we do want to acknowledge them uh, for their terrific service. Eric? Okay, so I'm going to say a few things about each one, and then uh, Rudy is going to hand them departing gifts of various flavors. Um, so first thing I would say is um, uh, this group of three that we bid farewell to are um, particularly special for me from the point of view of I think this might have been the first slate of new council members that, I, that got um, put in place after I became director, if I remember this right. Or if it's not the first, it's among the first. So I'm coming up on my, just shy of my fifth year as director, and all of you have now served full terms as members of council. So, um, you know, I, I, it's been important to me to, and very valuable uh, from the point of view of you've helped me grow into this job and have really been instrumental in helping even think about redesigning some of the ways we've done council meetings. And so as a group, I thank all three of you. Um, so let's get right into this. Uh, the, the three individuals we say goodbye to as retiring members. First, Howard McLeod. And Howard's been our expert in all things related to pharmacogenomics and our research efforts designed to implement genomic technologies into clinical settings. Um, his enthusiasm for research activities related to genomic medicine almost equals his passion for LC research, although we'll, we'll never let him down for that one little comment he said at an earlier council meeting, but more seriously, uh, we have valued his expertise and his contributions on many things at this council, and we also have really enjoyed his sense of humor. So, Howard, thank you very much. So, uh, next is Jill Mezeroff, um, and uh, you can never have too much uh, informatics and computational expertise on an advisory committee. Um, and Jill's knowledge of computational biology and data handling goes beyond genomics and into other fields of science and technologies, and her broad perspective has enlightened and informed memory, many of the council discussions about big data topics. Uh, Jill's reward for four faithful years of service to this council is now that we've nominated her to serve on the Big Data to Knowledge Multi-Council Working Group, which I'll say more things about in my, in my uh, director's report. But Jill has graciously accepted this position, thereby proving the old saying that uh, no good deed goes unpunished. So thank you, Jill. Right, right, yes, as were many people. Um, and last but not least is Didi Meldrum. Uh, Didi has been our technology maven for the past four years and even before then, uh, which is critically important expertise to have at this council table. Uh, but she wears another hat in service to the Institute because she's also been a member of the sequencing advisory panel which is not a, a panel that you choose to be on if you're looking for an easy gig uh, that doesn't lack controversy, because it's not an easy gig and there's plenty of debate and controversy at times. But Dee Dee, thank you for your service to NHR. We will miss you as well. So I say this each year because it's always true. Uh, service um, on an NIH advisory council is intellectually stimulating experience, and most people consider it to be an honor to be asked, but we find ourselves in an era of boundless opportunities but limited budgets, so it's a lot of work around this table. Uh, the challenge to the Council is to help guide the Institute to make the best possible decisions about awards, research priorities, and setting out to figure out what's the best goals we should have for the future. And this is not an easy task, and at times I realize it even can be frustrating. But we're keenly aware of your dedication. Um, and, and the key, um, uh, the, the way you really think about NHGRI is, is meant in the most constructive ways and also NIH, and we've been very grateful to all three of you uh, for your service and your, uh, and your thoughtful advice. So enjoy your retirements, but as you can already tell, we uh, always have ways of knowing how to contact you and sign you up for future things, so I suspect you will be hearing from us in other capacities in the future. So thank you all. Okay, um, introductions. Uh, we have uh, four council ad hocs. Uh, this is our fall uh, set of interns that we're bringing to the council. Um, so quickly, uh, Carol Bolt uh, from Jackson Labs. Uh, Dan Roden, who has stepped out for a moment from Vanderbilt. <laughs> he already left. He's already, he got the <laughs> message. <laughs> he found it was too much work. 
Uh, Jay Shanduri from uh, Washington University. No, University, University of Washington. Washington. I'm sorry. And uh, Val Sheffield from uh, the University of Iowa. Thank you all for taking the time to uh, be with us today and for the next two days. Uh, I want to welcome the uh, Council of uh, uh, Liaisons, uh, Ellen Giarelli from the International Society of Nurses and Genetics, Joe McInerney from the American Society of Human Genetics, James O'Leary from the Genetic Alliance, Rhonda Schonberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors, and Michael Watson from the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, we have new employees at NHGRI, and our practice is to introduce them to the council. When I call your name, would you please stand up and at least remain standing for a couple seconds so the council can associate a name with a face. Uh, Dr. Dan Gilchrist. Dan is a new program director in the Division of Genome Sciences. Prior to joining NHGRI, Dan was a staff scientist at the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, NIHS, where he developed and implemented bioinformatics, genomic and biochemical methods to study the mechanisms by which gene expression changes in response to environmental stimuli. Uh, in addition to managing a portfolio of informatics and computational biology grants here, Dan will also be part of the ENCODE project team. Welcome, Dan. Dr. Valentina Di Francesco. Valentina is new to us, but not new to NIH. Uh, she comes to us from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, where she has spent the last 10 years as a program director in the Office of Genomics and Advanced Technologies. In that office, she was responsible for programs in bioinformatics, structural genomics, and systems biology. Valentina is in the Division of Genomic Sciences, and she'll work on grants in the bioinformatics portfolio. Uh, we also have a new set of program analysts. Uh, they joined NHGRI throughout the summer, but this is their first opportunity to be introduced to the council. Uh, Julie Corson. Uh, Julie recently graduated from Davidson College with an undergraduate degree in biology, and she'll be working on the ENCO project and the Knockout Mouse Project comp. Brenda Iglesias. Brenda comes to us from Pomona College. She has a degree in biology, and she'll be working on several NHGRI programs, included the Undiagnosed Diseases Network, Newborn Sequencing, Phoenix, and the PAGE program. Alex Lee. Alex is a recent graduate from Haverford College, where he majored in chemistry and minored in art history. Alex works with the LC Research Program and CSER and GSIT, the Genome Sequencing Informatics Tool Program. Hannah Naughton. Hannah recently graduated from Duke with a chemistry degree with a focus in pharmacology, and she will be working on the ENCODE project. Annie Niehaus. Niehaus. Annie comes to us from Pomona College. The Pomona pipeline is working very well here. She earned a degree in chemistry and public policy analysis, and she'll be working on ClinGen and the ELSI research program and Bianca Patel. Bianca graduated from Duke with degrees in biology and psychology, and she will be supporting the LINX, Small Business Innovative Research uh, Program, and NHGRI's training program. And finally, we want to in introduce Elise Galloway. Uh, Elise is the Special Assistant to the Director of the Division of Policy, Communications, and Education. All right, welcome, everyone. We also have some outside visitors. Uh, Bob Wilden is from Northwest Genetics, Adam Fager from the Genetic Society of America, and Adam Berger from the Institute of Medicine. Thank you all for taking the time to be with us today. Okay, uh, we need uh, approval, uh, hopefully approval, of the May Council Minutes. Uh, does anyone, any member of Council have any comment about the Minutes document? Any changes that need to be made? If not, can I have a motion to accept? Second. All in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? Thank you very much. Uh, on the open session agenda, please note the future meeting dates for the next six council meetings. If you discover a, conf a schedule conflict, uh, please let me know, and more importantly, let Comfort Brown know about that uh, conflict. And with that, I'm ready to turn it over to Eric for the director's report. Great. Thank you, Rudy.